In this lecture, let's learn how we can create an index on a field of a collection. Let's go to Mongo shell. And in order to understand indexes, we need a large set of data. And in order to save some time, I already have that data. I'll also share it with you with this video in the description. So you can also download it and use it for your practice. So here in this folder, I have this users.json file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open command prompt here by simply typing CMD. Let's open it. Let's clear the console here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Mongo import tool. We have learned how to use this Mongo import tool. What do I want to import here? I want to import users.json file. Okay. Now in which DV do I want to import it? that I can specify using hyphen D and then the name of the database. So the name of the database is eShopping. Then we also need to specify in which collection do we want to import it for that we can use hyphen C and then the name of the collection. Here I'm going to import it in users collection. And then in the file, we have an array of JSON objects. So we also need to specify that in the file, we have a JSON array. Okay, and I'm also going to use this hyphen hyphen drop command because I want to drop the collection first and then I want to import these files. Let's go ahead and let's press enter. So you can see 7000 documents have been imported successfully. All right, let me close this command prompt here. And now let me show you how each document in the user's collection look like. So for that, I'm going to use find one method here and it is going to return us the first document from the user's collection. And this is how the document looks like. Here we have a name, age, gender, email, location. Location is an embedded document where we have street, country, city, pin, etc. We have hobbies array and we have other fields where we have the occupation of the user, the marital status and preferences. Preferences is again an embedded document where we have favorite color and music genre. Okay, let me clear this shell here. Now here what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run the find command on this user's collection. And there I'm going to pass a filter object. In the filter object, I'm going to specify that I want to filter all those users where the age is, let's say, greater than or equal to maybe 60. If I press enter, has returned us some documents. So here I'll simply use count function to see how many documents it has returned us. If I press enter, you will see that it has returned us 190 documents. So instead of 60, let me go ahead and let me change it to maybe 40 so that it will return us more documents. If I press enter again, now it is returning us 4252 documents. Total, we have 7,000 user documents in the user's collection. And for this criteria, it is returning us 4,252 documents from the user's collection. And here you would have noticed that the query was very fast. The only reason for that is we do not have too many documents in the user's collection. And also each user document is very small with very few fields. Okay, but let's say if we would have 1 million users in the user's collection with lot more fields, then it would have taken some time. However, let's try to analyze this query and check how much time it took to query all the documents where the age is greater than or equal to 40. So for that, before this find method, we can use another method called explain. Okay, and on that explain, we can call this find method. Now let me go ahead and let me remove count from here. We don't want to count it anymore. Instead, we want to see we want to analyze this find query. If I press enter, you will see some properties logged here. Basically, it is the explanation of this query. For example, here you will see the winning plan and the winning plan stage is call scan. That means here MongoDB has done a collection scan to fetch those 4252 documents. So we can also see how many documents it has returned. And I'll show you that in a bit. But here you can see it is finding from the user's collection. What is the filter criteria? 
age should be greater than or equal to 40. You have other informations like host, port, version, other things. But these are not the details which we are interested in. So we are interested in how much time it took to run this query, to execute this query, how many documents it returned and other things. Okay, so for that, to this explain method, we can pass an argument and that argument is execution stats. So in the stats, this S should be in uppercase. Okay, so please use it very carefully. Otherwise, you might misspell it and it will not work. So after passing this argument, if I go ahead and if I press enter, it will give us some more information. For example, it has returned us 4252 documents. How much time it took? It took 6 milliseconds to execute this query. Here, you can also see how many documents MongoDB has to traverse in order to fetch these 4252 documents. So this total docs examined tells you that through how many documents MongoDB went through in order to fetch the desired result, basically these 4252 documents. So since it did a call scan, as you can see, it has done a collection scan. And in the collection, we have 7000 documents. So it went through all those 7000 documents to fetch these 4252 records. And if we would have large set of data, let's say 1 million documents in this user's collection, MongoDB will have to scan 1 million documents and the execution time would have been more. But here, since we have a very small data set, it took only 6 milliseconds. Now what we will do is, let me go and let me clear the shelf first. And now we are going to add an index on the gender field. So to add an index, what we can do is, on the collection where we want to add an index, on that we can call this create index method. To this, we need to pass an argument. That argument will be an object. And in this object, you specify on which field do you want to add an index. Here, I want to add an index on the age field. And then you also need to specify how do you want to sort it, whether you want to sort it in ascending order or descending order. Because as we learned, the index stores an ordered list of pointers to a document in the collection. Now, how do you want to order it? How do you want to sort it? whether you want to sort it in ascending order or descending order. And it does not make much difference on how you sort the documents. Okay, so you can also sort it in ascending order or descending order based on your choice. Here, I'm going to sort it in ascending order. For that, I can specify one. If I want to sort it in descending order, I can specify minus one. But here, let's sort it in ascending order. And if I run this command, it should create an index on the age field. Okay, now let's clear the shell again and let's run the same command one more time. So basically, let's run this find command where we want to find all the documents where the age is greater than or equal to 40. And with that, we are also calling this explain function where we are passing this execution stat argument. And now if I go ahead and if I run this command, if you remember last time when we run this command without an index on the age field, it took six milliseconds. Let me run this command again. And now let's examine how much time it has taken. If you see, it is still taking six milliseconds. And this time also it has done call scan. Now, why is that? That's because I have created an index on age field where A is in lowercase. But in our document, the field name is age where A is in uppercase. So first of all, let me go ahead and let me drop this index from this age field. We don't need it. So what we are going to do is we are going to say db.users.dropindex. So if you want to drop an index, you can use drop index method. There again, you need to specify the field from where you want to drop the index and how you have ordered it. We have ordered it in ascending order. If I press enter, it has dropped that index. Now let's go ahead and let's create an index again. And let me go ahead and let me change it to uppercase A. Okay. And if I run this command, now again, an index has been created on this age field where A is in uppercase. So in our documents, the field name is age where A is in uppercase. Let me clear the shell here. And let's go ahead and let's run the find command one more time. 
with explain method where we want to get the execution stats if i press enter and now if i scroll up so basically as you can see it has returned 4252 documents which is expected here you can see instead of doing collection scan it has done index scan so this is also expected because now it is using the index return document is this much and if you see total docs examined is also 4252 so it did not go through each document in the collection it only went through these many documents in the collection and return them because here what is happening is first mongodb is going to the index from there it is checking the pointers in the collection so in the mongodb index we will have 4252 pointers to the documents in the collection where the gender is greater than or equal to 40. so first it went through all those pointers in the index and from there it went to the documents in the users collection and from there it fetched all the documents which has a pointer in the index but one thing you need to notice here see here the execution time it is 22 milliseconds earlier it was 6 milliseconds so here instead of improving the performance of our query it has decreased the performance why is that that's because here if you see we have total 7000 documents in the collection and from those 7000 documents we are fetching 4252 documents so it is more than 50 percent and in this case what is happening is when we are querying this 4252 documents from the collection using collection scan without using an index on the age field in that case it will go through the 7000 documents and fetch this 4252 documents but since we have added an index on the age field now mongodb will first go to index from there it will go to the collection and this thing will happen for 4252 documents so for each document since we have an index on the age field first mongodb will go to the index and then from there it will go to the collection and here we have one extra step for fetching each document so mongodb will go to index 4252 times from there it will go to collection 4252 times and it will fetch the 4252 documents so here there is one extra step involved and because of this instead of improving the performance of the query it has decreased the performance of the query i hope you are getting the point so remember that indexes will be useful when you add it on a field only when you're going to query let's say 10 percent or 20 percent of the document from the collection if you are going to query majority of the document from the collection then indexes will not be useful so this is one point i wanted to cover before i show you how it improves the performance of the query so first i wanted to show you a negative case where you should not use index as you can see in this case where we are returning majority of the document from the collection there we should not be using indexes there call span will give better performance because in that case we are omitting one extra step of going to index all right now let me clear this shell here and now let's go ahead and let's query the documents where the age is greater than or equal to 50. let's first see the count here or maybe i'll change it to 60 because there we know we have only 193 documents if i go ahead and if i press enter let's scroll up so as you can see here it has taken around 0 milliseconds so it will be somewhere between 0 and 1 millisecond so that's why it is showing 0 milliseconds here so this is also not okay let me try with 50 here where the age is greater than or equal to 50 and here i also wanted to check the count first so i'll remove this explain method for now and let's see the count here if i press enter here we have 2711 records so it is less than 50 percent so i think this should work so let's go ahead and let's run that command again and here i will change it to 50 greater than or equal to 50 let's press enter in this case let's see how much time it has taken as you can see it has done index scan because since we are using age field in the filter query 
and since we have an index on the age field it is doing index scan let's see the time it has taken it has taken 4 milliseconds right so this is when we have an index on the age field and when we did not had index on the age field let's see how much time it takes for that let me first clear the shell and let me go ahead and let me drop the index from the age field so instead of create index i am going to use drop index if i press enter it has dropped that index so you see previously there were two indexes now we have removed it so now there is only one index and why we have two indexes i will explain you because we also have a default index where we don't create any index by default also we have an index and i'll explain that in a bit so now if i go ahead and if i run the query the same query where the age is greater than or equal to 50 and since we have removed the index from the age field let's see how much execution time it takes if i scroll up you see the execution time is 7 milliseconds but when we had an index on the age field at that time the execution time was 4 milliseconds so when we had an index on the age field at that time the performance was better and again as i mentioned the performance of the index will increase only if the query which you are using is not going to return the majority of the documents it is only going to return some documents for example 10 percent or 20 percent of the documents from the collection that time only indexing on a field will be useful because if your query is going to return majority of the documents it will have to follow two steps first going to the index and then going to the collection and that can decrease the performance of the query so now you know when not to use an index and when to use an index and how indexes can improve the performance of your query all right so in this lecture we learned how to create an index and also how to drop an index now there is also a default index so whenever you create a collection at that time a default index gets created on the underscore id field so in your collection there is always a default index on the underscore id field of the document and based on that id field the documents are sorted in the collection so to see all the indexes which we have on a collection we can say db dot the collection name in this case users dot get indexes if i press enter currently we should have only one index as you can see we have only one index right now because we dropped the index from the age field and there the index is on this underscore id field and this is the name of the index underscore id underscore okay so by default there will always be an index on this underscore id field whenever a collection is created and this index is unique that means when you create a unique index on a field for that field you cannot insert duplicate values and that's why since we have a unique index on the underscore id field when we try to insert a document in the collection with the id with which there is already a document in the collection mongodb does not allow us to insert that document and this is the reason because on this underscore id field we have a unique index and we will talk about unique index in our coming lectures but i just wanted to show you that we always get a default index on the underscore id field which is also a unique index this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day